Well, so much hype went into this ball game. Yeah, this is the first time I've really seen all three of the big three really step up and be aggressive and get it done really at both ends. I like them creating offense with their defense and getting out in the open court. All right, let's go to Craig with LeBron. Well, thanks, Mark. LeBron, how relieved are you that this night is over and the experience is behind you? Um, I mean, you know, we came here with, a, with one goal, and that was to, to win a basketball game, and, um, you know, we did that. We, we played. This is the most complete game that we had all year, I think, from, from start to finish. After an emotional first half, you took the game over in the third quarter, 24 of your 38 points. What were you trying to find? Your favorite spots in this court, or how were you able to get those shots? Uh, well, I know this court. I know this court, and uh, I've made a lot of shots on this court. So um, just wanted to be aggressive, just try to keep them out of the game. I knew they was going to try to make a run in the third quarter, but um, we was able to get stops and was able to get some shots. How do you learn from this experience, and how will it help you and your teammates as you move forward? Um, you know, we just got to continue to get better, you know, and we know every night we go out, it's going to be a hostile environment. Um, but we just got to continue to get better. And, um, you know, it's a good night. It's a good night for our team. The fans had their say tonight. What would you like to say to them if you could? Uh, seven great years. Um, loved every part. Um, loved every moment um, from the growth when I was an 18-year-old kid to a 25-year-old man. And, um, you know, I tried our best. As a team, we tried our best to, to, to bring a championship to the city and just, you know, just try to play hard every night. So I got the utmost respect for this, for this franchise, utmost respect for these fans. And, um, you know, just continue the greatness for myself here in Miami and uh, try to get better every day. You can't go back with your decision, but uh, do you regret how it ended? Do you like to apologize for the way it ended? I don't want to apologize. Um, I think, um, you know, my intentions was um, not to hurt anyone. Um, you know, my intentions were solely on kids um, during the whole um, process. Um, and, you know, I always say, um, you know, decisions I make, um, I live with them. You know, there's always ways that you can correct them or ways that you can do them better. Um, but at the end of the day, um, I live with them. And, um, you know, I'm satisfied and I'm happy right now. All right, thanks a lot. Great uh, job tonight. Let's go back to you, Mark. All right, thank you, Craig. That was a nice statement up to the point of LeBron referring to his greatness. <laughs> Would you agree? We didn't need that part. He was no, really good, was good until then. Yeah. I think the hole now has been dug deeper. 57% shooting by Miami as they defeat the Cavaliers 118 to 90 for Steve Kerr, Reggie Miller, Craig Sager, and the rest of our crew. Marv Albert saying good night from Cleveland. Coming up, the Suns and the Warriors. After a quick break, we send it to Kevin Holland and the czar, Mike Fratello, out in Oakland.